hello everyone hope hope you all are doing well so now we will start our new topic that is the projectile motion in two dimension first of all let we know the definition of the projectile motion the definition of it is that a when a body this wait it says that when a body is thrown in a horizontal direction which uniform velocity at the same time okay the body possesses vertical velocity under the action of gravity the body moves in a curved path is called a parabolic path and the motion is called the projectile motion the path followed by a projectile motion is called trajectory for example animal is jumping broad jumping kick off a ball and throw off a ball you cannot understand this uh, di- this definition before tell that you uh, you will not understand this diagram so let's move to this diagram sorry so first of all in the diagram it says uh, the in a definition is that the when a body is thrown in a horizontal direction this is a horizontal direction okay and a body is being thrown from here to this one side after that it said with uniform velocity at the same time the body possesses vertical velocity means with a uniform velocity it possesses in a horizontal and uniform velocity acceleration is equal to zero at the same time the body possesses vertical velocity under the action of gravity obviously we are having here a gravity due to gravity it moves uh, from upward to downward so it's having vertical velocity and the vertical velocity will remain same at its position okay the body moves in a curved path before that i want to explain something else that here this from where it's starting this is called the initial point and this is called the landing pad launching pad okay and here is we are having angle of projector angle of projector is being made whenever here will be 45 of angle it will maximum whenever it will be 15 it will minimum so after that let move further after that here is a gravity under the gravity the work is happens okay after that here it's moving tell between okay what happens this is the x axis y axis uh, x axis y axis okay with respect of time to find the time in it the formula is v dot sin theta upon g okay and when it moves upward from the gravity it decreases so we put here minus v and the vector velocity means that these angles making this one vector velocity this is a velocity uh, vertical velocity but this is a vector velocity vector velocity will change its position again and again and again after that when it comes in a center the height will be maximum and the y axis will be zero because now y axis will change its position from one side to another and to find the height the formula is v square dot sin 2 theta upon 2g okay and this line is called the range of projector to find the range of projector we use this one formula r is equal to v square upon g dot sin 2 theta and after that the range of projector you can express with x you can express with sh you can express with r okay after that here r is equal to h is equal to 76 degree it means that here r means range of projector is equal to height means on the maximum height and the range of projector both are equal and making the angle of 76 degree and y axis will be zero and after that to find the angle like if someone gave us a angle of 15 to find the another angle so we will deduct just 90 minus another angle so that angle we will receive that is an another angle okay after that what happens uh, it moves this one side so previously this one is x axis this one is y axis now the work is happening under it's going to curve under the action of gravity so when it moves under the action of gravity the x axis will come upward and y axis will downward okay in a positive one so 
आफ्टर दैट दिस पाथ इज कॉल अ पैराबोलिक पाथ दिस पाथ इज कॉल पैराबोलिक पाथ एंड दिस मोशन इज कॉल प्रोजेक्टाइल मोशन एंड दिस पाथ हैपनिंग दिस पाथ फॉलोड द प्रोजेक्टाइल दैट प्रोजेक्टाइल इज कॉल ट्रेजेक्ट्री हेयर वी हैव रिटन दिस पाथ इज कॉल ट्रेजेक्ट्री ट्रेजेक्ट्री इट्स कॉल ओके एंड द कर्व पाथ इज कॉल पैराबोलिक पाथ after that this was the x axis and this was the y axis okay what happens when it come down the velocity increases but when it moves up it decreases when it's coming to downward in the gravity position so that's why velocity increases and after that it this one point where it's land this is called a landing pad or target point okay and this is called the inelastic energy ओके विच वन एनर्जी इन इलास्टिक बिकॉज वैन इट्स जस्ट लैंड ओवर हेयर इट आल्सो प्रोड्यूस साउंड एंड हीट एज वी हैव डन इन अवर प्रीवियस वीडियो दैट विच प्रोड्यूस साउंड एंड हीट टू प्रॉपर्टीज इज कॉल्ड इन इलास्टिक एनर्जी सो इट प्रोड्यूस इन आर इन इलास्टिक एनर्जी एंड काइनेटिक एनर्जी विल मैक्मम ऑन दिस वन पॉइंट बिकॉज विलासिटी इज इंक्रीजिंग ओवर हेयर सो वी आर यूजिंग द फॉर्मूला हाफ एम वी स्क्वायर एंड पोटेंशियल एनर्जी विल बी जीरो बिकॉज वैन इट्स कम डाउन वर्ड इट जीरो बट वैन इट गोज अपवर्ड it's maximum okay so here we are using some components the first component is vx is equal to v cos theta as you know second is y with that we use sin theta third is vx is equal to now here i said that with respect of time height we are finding with respect of time so here we put that vx is equal to v cos theta into time and vy is equal to v sin theta into time vy we can also write it minus z and t time why minus z because when it's move upward it's a uh, neglecting the gravity so minus z and with respect of time we are finding height and y vy is equal to 0 that's why we can put this one formula after that here are the three factors of this that gravity is negligible for this after that rotation of earth is negligible for this after that air resistance is also negligible for this means these three things cannot affect on the projectile motion in two dimension if the question arrive that if there will be the change in gravity and air resistance and we are doing it in a air resistance and changing in gravity so is the height and time will remain same so answer is purely no because when we will just move this one upward okay is change the range of the projector its position and also it changes height because of air resistance so for this three things are negligible one gravity second rotation of earth and third we are having air resistance okay so hope you understand today's lecture thank you so much for listening